Howdy ho neighborinos, we are here today for the last week of the regular season of the APA Academy going up against Jesse504 and you can see he's got some very uh, aggressive nicknames here. Um, I actually, uh, my switch died, half or was about to die, like the controllers were going to die uh, at some point in this battle so I ended up not being able to record the whole thing. I only had half of the battle recorded or some shit like that so I just had Jesse send me his side so we're going to do it from his perspective. Um, I am, you can see what he's bringing, obviously. I am bringing a Scarf Vanillux. I am bringing a, a Defensive Incineroar with speed for the, uh, Seismatoes. We knocked that boy off. We have Lumberry Zydosh, Adamant, very strong, very good in this matchup. Uh, really the only thing he has for it is that fucking beat boop right there, you know? And we got Stone Edge. Uh, bulky Offensive, uh, Kabutops. I don't remember, honestly, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't remember what the exact bulk was for but i have just enough bulk to live some hit i don't fucking remember what it was uh might not even have been a pokemon that ended up coming you know but we do have some bulk to us we're boots we want to keep these hazards away we want to be able to flip turn out and do all that fun stuff um we have just standard lead a selgor just fast as hell getting damage on stuff and then we have a spadef du blade because we cannot even attempt to switch into uh, Noivern. He also had a Roserade that he did not bring, thank God, because we, like, look at our team, dude. Roserade gets Shadow Ball. We don't switch in with anything. We gotta get up spikes and fucking revenge it is all we can do, basically. So, very nice of him to not bring Roserade. This is a weird game because we are both locked for playoffs if we keep the diff low, basically. Um, I don't remember the exact number, like, someone had told me, oh, do, like, this many, and then it'll be okay, but it ended up being wrong, <laughs> so, um, this battle scuffed as hell, because, uh, try not to be a dick and just, you know, 5-0 the man, or get 5-0 or something, we both kind of agreed ahead of time, like, hey, let's keep diff low, we already got our playoff spots locked, just so we can, uh, continue to be in playoffs, you know, so, uh, I am just going to lead my Aselgor. Uh, what's he got? He's got, he's actually got a really cool Entei set. He's got Sub Calm Mind Entei. Obviously just bulky as hell. Uh, Dotler. Uh, AV Escavalier is his only switch into Vanillux. Other than that, Vanillux destroys this man. Um, Boots Sturdy Sock, basically just meant to trade one for one. Boots Noivern, um, I'm assuming is going to be like Defog and then just spamming like Hurricane and flamethrower and shit like that and then he's got the rindo toad which he did lead with which is smart because i got energy ball of Sogor, so that guarantees that he is able to get up his rocks basically um and i think seismitoad has higher hp than a Sogor. so even if i am final gambit but even if i was to click it uh he would live so there's no point in clicking it so like i said this is going to be from his perspective shout out to jesse for sending me his footage like 15 minutes after the battle he sent me his footage it was amazing but <laughs> i'm just gonna click energy ball i don't give a fuck Getting this thing weakened. This is this, the Charger Bug, and the Escavalier are the only thing that eat hits from plus one at, uh, the only thing that eats hits at plus one from Zygarde. So, getting this thing in range is amazing. He's already in range. Fucking perfect. So, he's gonna switch out right into Noivern, which makes sense. So, he's gonna go out into Boombat. I'm just clicking energy ball again. I'm not fucking around, dude. Um, first and foremost, like, I want to win this battle. Obviously, keeping me at a 5-3 and three record would be amazing. Or ending off at a 5-3 and three record would be amazing. It sounds a hell of a lot better than 4-4. Four and four. But, um, I also, like I said, I'm not trying to fucking go full super try-hard mode and just, like, you know, 6-0 or whatever. So, we do get up a spike. There's our focus sash. I'm going to just get up another layer and pray he kills me. He does have the defog. So... Uh, we could end up not having a great exchange exchange here. We get up our second layer of Spike, which is fantastic. And he's going to miss a Draco. And in his side of the footage, he goes, I'm going to click Draco instead of Hurricane so that I don't miss. And then he misses the Draco, which is actually bad for us because we got up two Spikes. Now, he hasn't revealed Defog, so I'm going to get up a third just in case. He does have the Defog. Fucking yikes. And we are going to, uh, you know... Get up, in a, get up our, our fourth layer, which is our first layer again. So, at least we end up with this exchange at one. He defogged his own rocks away, which is fucking cool with me, though. So, 
I think we win the exchange. You know, we got a layer up, we got half on the Seismic Toad, and uh, we know basically Noivern's full set now. So, uh, he didn't reveal Roost, so he could still have, like, Flamethrower or something, but we have our Scarf in the looks here. And obviously, dude, he's got two switch ins to this. He's got two switch ins Entei and Escavalier. Both of those are covered by our uh, Incineroar. And since we switched out first, he does know that we are Choice Scarf now. So obviously, it was to be assumed we are Choice Scarf, but now he knows for sure. So here comes the Scavalier. He's going to take some spiky boys. We're buffeted by the hail. He has Overcoat, so he didn't give a fuck. But I can click Knock here. He has to go back into Toad. He's already taken his item. He's already lost his item, so Knock isn't going to do a super big much. Hey, good words, Sheldon. But uh, Knock Off will put it in range of the... Not the hail, right? Yeah, he barely lives. We do have speed for this for a situation just like this. So I'm going to just click knock off again. Um, if he wants to try to get up his rocks again, he can. He just goes for a scald, which is kind of smart because this thing kind of pressures his team. So we just knock. That does kill Seismitoad. We get a crit. Definitely mattered. And that boy goes down. Postcom isn't fun, huh? <laughs> Postcom is not that fun. So he's going to go into Entei. And here's the thing about Entei, dude. Entei, if it's choice banned, I don't switch into it. So I need to see... I have Protect on a couple things so that I can see what he locks into. Jesse, uh, in, in some of his previous games, has been known to predict super hard in situations like this. So, whereas my switch in would be, oh, I don't know, uh, well, it doesn't exist. But just to see what he locks himself into, if he did want to go for, like, a Bulldozer Tantrum or whatever, then I could make a switch accordingly. But he does go for a sub. He gets a free sub because we clicked Protect. And every time I've ever clicked Protect in any league, it's gone poorly. So... I'm like, what is he going to be? Is he like work up or something? What's going on? He's calm mind. Holy shit. This man brought calm mind into. I am fucking startled, dude. We're going to click knock off again. We are. Uh, we, I don't believe we have any offensive investment, but we do have enough to break the sub just naturally. So that's nice. Now, uh, we are max HP, so we should live any hit at plus one. If he wants to start getting to plus two, that is a little bit sketchy, but he does just go for that scorching sands. We, we live on like 25 or so, that's cool. So we can get the knockoff off, and that is going to knock off his lefties. He's at 65 out of 2 of 4. He could go for another sub if he wanted to, but I don't think uh, I don't think that's the play. He does just plume. That will kill us. It sucks losing Incend this early, but it was kind of here for this. So knowing it's set and having it weakened to a little bit more than 25% is super nice. But unfortunately, now I have to go out into something to revenge this, and it can't really be... Like, I was worried about dealing with this just because uh the the thing of extreme speed or being banded or whatever but knowing that he's special really takes some pressure off of me and uh he's going to switch out obviously but i'm just clicking arrows i'm not fucking around if he goes into his uh like in my head i was like if he goes into his dotler you know i could just eat in its face and i have stone edge but get off of, get off a you know roughly a thousands worth of arrows it does like seven which is <laughs> fucking depressing so he's going to get up his webs. I don't, I could just like D-Dance and click Stone Edge, but that would mean I would have to hit. So I'm going to go to Kabutops, which also has to hit a Stone Edge versus this, but at least I can spin. And uh, if you look at his team, dude, he doesn't deal with Kabutops well at all. So rather than try to just go for game now, I do want to get these webs off the field and, uh, you know, maybe try to keep Diff a little low for the boys, you know? So he's going to get webs up. He does not have a ghost type. I am immediately just going to spin. His Seismitoad is dead, which is super nice. And at this point, I really wish I was like weakness policy uh, uh, weak armor, you know? Because he does go for the body press. That is a super effectively, but Dotler has 80 base defense, and that doesn't include the Violite. So we eat that no problem, you know? Now, I believe he's going to want to save this, and at this point, that's cool because he's going to come back in and take another spike. He is also uh, weakened, so he'll be at about half. That is in range of the plus one Zygarde's uh, Stone Edge, if we can hit later. So he's going to switch out. Go right on out into Boombat. Frisk us. He's going to find our boots, which he already found. I'm going to get up Stealth Rocks on this turn. Go me, dude. Look at me making predictions and shit. Uh, he's going to defog. So if I hit the Stone Edge, it is going to be a great day in old Sheldonville. You know, we do hit the Stone Edge. Noivern goes down. Rocks and... Uh, spikes are there to stay and this is starting to look pretty good it's starting to look pretty good so he goes into sock which does uh 
have boots, as you can see, because he didn't take the damage. So I figured he's boots sturdy, and he just wants to fucking destroy something here. Um, I realize I can just I don't I have Stone Edge, and that's my only my only other move is Flip Turn. So I just Flip Turn out and go into the Du Blade. I don't know if he wanted to predict that or anything. I can't really stop him if he did, you know. So we do just go out into that. He clicks CC. Free turn for me. Great job. Also bars. Um, we just kind of attack this thing. He does knock me off, and that's fine. And that's fine. We just go for the Shadow Claw. Two Shadow Claws should take him out. Yeah, we have no attack investment, but two should take him out. Um, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking about. Yeah, just go for it again. Uh, he does knock me off, and that will put me in range of pretty much anything else on his team. So, we do just click that right there. Now here's, I believe, right around here is where I lost my controllers uh, when they when they died. So I wasn't quite sure what was going on. I was, I stopped keeping track of what had died. Like he's got four Pokemon left, but Entei is super low, and I got rocks and spikes up and shit. But I do have Destiny Bond on this guy, so I can trade one for one. We take out Sock, and we're gonna be able to Destiny Bond kill this here Vanillux, which basically means, but uh, that's a Vanillux. A so I mean, words are tough, dude. Uh, we kill the Escavalier. Which means everything that resists Vanillux has died. But there's one problem. I'm one kill away with Zygarde from being the kill leader. And I kind of panicked. I just went Vanillux. I was like, he can kill me with Entei. And then I'll just revenge him with, uh, with Zygarde or whatever. But I forgot rocks and spikes were up. So Entei dies to hazards. And I was like, oh shit. I'm not going to get my Zygarde kill. What the fuck? He goes into Beep Boop. Um, I believe I'm not fully invested. He takes so much, dude. He takes so fucking much. Um, but I want. I need a Zygarde kill. I really need a Zygarde kill. So I'm going to switch out and be kind of like... Help out Jesse a little bit. We'll give him a little bit of diff. But I need my Zygarde kill, dude. I don't... I didn't, I didn't think about this through. I'm panicking at this moment in the game. I'm panicking. I'm like, oh shit! I don't have a fucking. Uh, I don't have the game recorded. I don't know what how many mons he has left. I forgot rocks were up. Everything's dying. Beep boop recovers as we switch out, and um, I believe I flip turn out. As he goes for the iron defense. Yep, makes sense. That we haven't seen yet. Well, we saw him click it, but we haven't seen me actually do it yet. You know. Getting a little bit ahead of myself here. So we do flip turn. Hit him with the flippity flip. And I think... I forgot what I do here. Yeah, I'm like panicking in this game, dude. I go up into Gucci again as he goes for an iron defense. And I'm like, okay, how do I guarantee to get a Zygarde kill here? I can set the veil, right? I can set the veil. I can sack. And then I can go to Zygarde. And if I can hit a stone edge, he should die. So we do set the veil. That way, at least the body presses won't be doing too too much to me. Body press still does a fucking chunk to Vanillux, huh? So uh, he's gonna be taking some hail chip, which is nice. I believe I switch out and sack the Kabutops here, just because I'm locked into Aurora Veil and he can forever go for uh, Iron Defenses if he wants. And I, I, like, I don't know if he's gonna be nice about it i don't know if he's just like let me kill as many as i can i don't know if he's just gonna spam body press if he's gonna be recovering i don't know what's going on dude all i know is i need a fucking zygarde kill finally something dies and i'm able to bring out memphis we're at full health we're behind veil vale. if i can just hit hit some stone edges dude that would be great we do it the first one that takes him down to 13 he goes for the body press he's not in range of arrows because he's fucking at plus two so I have two more chances to hit a Stone Edge to get this goddamn Zygarde kill. Please hit. Zygarde, buddy, please hit. Of course! We got one more chance. Buddy, do it. At least he's being, at least he's not trying to recover me on me, because that would be fucked up. But we do hit the Stone Edge, finally. We get the kill with Zygarde that we needed. The near and dear to our heart Zygarde kill. We do take the 2-0 win versus Jesse in the matchup of 69 versus 420. The coolest guys you know. You know, the whitest kids you know, the coolest guys you know. So, um, that's great. Zygarde is kill leader. Except, fucking Jack. Fucking Jack, dude, and his Scyther have the same amount of kills and deaths as us. But, he's got more fucking trophies 
So he technically has the kill leader spot. If I would have known that, dude, I would have just been... I would have been killing so many more things with Zygarde. I thought I needed one kill to win. I didn't know I needed fucking two. And also, unfortunately for Jesse, 2-0 means that he... Uh, he tied in uh, an overall record and differential with Mario B. So, Mario won the head-to-head, -head, which means Jesse actually doesn't make playoffs. And you know what, dude? I fucking tried, okay? I tried to help the dude out, tried to fucking be a homie, and we did... Not we, but I was told the incorrect amount, and then he didn't exactly offer any uh, any information ahead of time, you know? So... That's going to be the battle. We do make playoffs, and we go up against Matt O'Shea, which means, dude, it's fucking time for Shea versus Shea playoffs. You know what I mean? So um, I've been kind of just dicking around this whole season, man. Five and three for a stacked ass schedule like we had is pretty fucking cool with me, dude. So we're going to play Matt. Um, I will I will let you know. I'm prepping hard, dude. I'm doing mocks. I'm doing fucking team reviews. I'm, uh, I'm going for And you know what? We had plenty of fun in the regular season. We did things, we did stuff, but now it's very serious time. So we're going try hard, dude. I got the, I had the first pick. I can't let my boy Zydoge down like that. I gotta get some more kills. I gotta beat Matt. I gotta I gotta do what we gotta do to you know see if we can get a uh, a little baby tier three and below championship here. So that's gonna be the battle. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, didn't really do a team builder. I might do team builder next week. We'll see. But like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Thanks for watching. Bye forever.